Yo hey guys, I'm playing Sir Tim Shaman here. You're probably surprised to see me doing a rant fail. Uh, I'm, now, I made a deal with myself that I will do only this guy's bag game review, review fails. But, since my camera battery is near dying, dying plan, plan on doing a short video. A two and over two minute long video and the video name is Game Inform 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 or on Sonic Fanboys. That's the title and we'll leave a link in the description. Also, yes, I'm using my camcorder. But hey, I'm recording the entire screen. But anyway, let's start this rant. Hello everyone, today I can probably make a video for a certain person who has been raging about gaming for the most me now. This is actually pretty funny, I'd like to have scanned this, but this is issue uh, 226, it's the one with XCOM. So, if you have a copy of this issue, then it's in there, so. In the letter, somebody wrote about Sonic. You know. You know that he... Okay, let me read this for you guys. With every bit of respect that I owe you guys, I really need to get something off my head. Why is it that whenever an actual good game like Sonic Generations or a new wrestling girl or a Sonic Hill comes out, you criticize it. Yet, whenever a new crappy game that has no, that has had no changes whatsoever, like Zelda Skyward Sword or Modern Warfare 3 comes out, you give it a perfect score. I find some of your make scenes Reviews her horrifying bias against certain games. Now, there's something to say about this. He wasn't just pretending Sonic right there. He was pretending Resident Evil in Silent, Silent Hill. So that means he should change the title to Game Informer on different fanboys of series. Just start. I'm going to read this part when it gets more down. With every bit of respect on you guys, I need to get to know my why is that whenever a good, actual good game of Sonic Generations or a new Resident Evil comes out and Chris like you want a new crappy game and no changes like Zell or M 3 give it a perfect score. You're horribly biased in certain ways. I hate how Tim says that Sonic Generations I will free, free it, so yeah, and so yeah, I'm going to read it. I hate how Tim says that Sonic Generations is a bad game, even though I only recently started to like Sonic and have, haven't really played any of his games. That doesn't mean I'm going to take criticisms of any of them lightly. In fact, some generations should receive a 9 just for being Sonic. Okay, I'll give Gligar that. He does have a point about Sonic fanboys. Well, the Sonic fanboy anyway. But, yeah, I do agree that that is dumb how Kyle actually said that. That's so stupid. It should not get a 9 just for being a Sonic game. It should be a 9 for gameplay. Let me continue. Besides that, there's a second reason why I feel that game There's a second reason why I feel like 
feel that it should get a 9. The two levels of Sonic Generations that I played in the demo were great. My last thing, by listening to bad things about Sonic Generations, you have only made me want to play the game even more to see if it really is that bad. Okay, I will admit that that comment right there is sort of bad, but uh, I want to show you that the comment in the Even though I only recently liked the third light song down and play a new beat, that doesn't mean I'm going to Christian and play it on the It's actually going to receive a 9 just for being a Sonic game. <laughs> okay, a little bit he had. He had a reason to laugh, okay? I have a little chuckle in my head right now because that is stupid. I will admit, that is stupid. Some song games I think it should receive under a 9. <sighs> Man, so much for being native towards Gligar. I'm going to start a new point system in the next Grand Fair against him though. Since I am only going to do a point system on his bad games reviews. Besides that, there's also a, there's a second reason why I feel that should get a nine. The two levels of Sonic Generation that were played in the demo are great. Okay. Maybe if it's a demo it might look better than the game. Well not saying I'm listing the bad things about Sonic Generation, you only made me want to play the game even more to see if it was really not that way. Okay, now this is what Game Informer said to him. They were rude right here. You really show us, Kyle, your plan to play a bad game because we criticize it for being bad as a bold new approach to consumer co consumerism that we are sure Sega will appreciate. Okay. That is so rude and so not after reading both comments. But in either way, they're grown ups. They should really not say that. Oh, I will admit, Kyle did say some stupid things. Man, I'm supposed to be against Gligar, but, but I'm actually with him in this sphere. Wow. We're off in a start, but we will have a rough end. Here is what their response is. You really showed us, Tom. Your plan to buy, play a bad game because you criticized it for being bad is a bold new approach to consumerism that we're all sure, sure Sega will appreciate. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Shaq Hilson, and, you know, sorry, Shaq Hilson, and your friends. I'd like to say sorry because. You just got owned by Game Informer. As for whether the approach for consumerism has worked for Sega, sadly it has. Shadow the Hedgehog is a, is a greatest hits on the PS2, same with Oak 6. Unleashed was on the 360. So, I hear what he's saying. Proves that it's just sad how you guys are just going to buy any crap Sega makes, even if it sucks. All in all, just before I throw the wrap down, maybe I'll do a quick scan of it and post it in the comments. Whatever. Okay, I will admit that was something too bad. Probably because I didn't hear what he said in the video. I'm not sure if you say if you heard him either, but we were off in good start, so. But the next ramp video, we're probably not. I will show you the next video that I'm going to be writing on of Glogger 13 biz and I will tell you except from okay good the next game that I'm the actual first grand video of a review of Glogger 13 biz will be if I get there Will be Sonic Venture BC, I guess. 
thought it was DX. Anyway. So yeah, now we're going to have Sonic Adventure D DX next time. So yeah, I'm going to save Sonic Generations for like the final Sonic review. I will rant on other games other than Sonic, like after Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, I probably will switch gears to a different series. But I will say, say he mostly do bad games about, or bad reviews against Sonic, so there will be a lot of Sonic fans. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this first rant. Sorry it took too long. And I know he read it, but just so sorry to free as well, just because you can't hear him. But believe me, in the next Sonic Venture DX, in the next review he's going to do, there's going to be a lot of ranting. See you guys next time, guys. Bye.